Well, hi, and welcome to my shop where I'm investigating why this magic eye is not so magic. And uh, just where's the magic gone? That's what I'm trying to find. And uh, interesting thing about this radio and doing this kind of work on this radio is that it's uh, it's an AC DC set. That's that's sort of a nickname for it, if you like, or an old name for it. And what it it's what it really means is there's no power transformer, and all the tube filaments are in series, including the magic eye tube, the magic eye tube, this one. So I'd like to read the voltages that are reaching the socket on this tube. But to do that, I have to unplug it. There it is unplugged, the socket here. But with the socket unplugged, this is now out of the heater series circuit. None of the tubes heat. No B plus. You know what? There would still be B plus because of that diode. After looking at the uh, circuit, the diode should still supply B plus. even with the uh, rectifier tube not hot. Yeah, I think that's the case. And the reason this is of interest to me is because, a, well, A, if there is B+, plus, I can look inside this. Uh, I can look inside here for it. I can look inside there for it. And earlier I had taken a reading on this exposed wire here. Um, that's on the far side of a ten of a one meg resistor. That's what's sticking out here. The other side of the resistor should be connected straight to B plus. So I should really find B plus on this pin, on this pin. A uh, one meg ohm resistor shouldn't prevent my meter from seeing it. So that's a bit of a mystery too. And of course, hey, guess what? I'm the guy who put that resistor in there. So uh, hmm, I mean, it's in there. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt I got it in there properly. But things aren't working, so doubt should be everywhere. So I think what we'll do is we'll turn the radio on with the tube out, just, that, just as I did right at the end of the last video, only this time I'll check and see if there is really uh, a plus there or not. Okay, so quick safety check. Everything is just as I left it. On we go. Yeah, I think there's something about B plus on a cold cathode, but we won't worry about that right now. Watching the meter on the 200 volt scale. Nothing. 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 What's, oh, there we are. There you are. Look at that. 165. Yeah. That's like an open circuit voltage, if you like, because there's no, there's no drain on it. Okay, so that means we should get 165 up in here somewhere. Let's try the back of the resistor. Yeah, I see nothing. I don't think that's right. I don't know which pin it would be. Oh, it might be that one. <laughs> hmm. So, okay, so high voltage getting there. Why not on the back of that uh, resistor? Why uh, Why would that be? Uh, tell me I soldered that resistor to the wrong terminal. Okay, let's turn this set off before we forget. Since it's all quiet, let's see if that voltage hangs on for a while. Ooh, there it is, still hanging on there. Ooh. Can't we get rid of that easily? You have to put a tube in. No, I guess you couldn't get rid of that easily uh, without putting a short on it, which is I think what I'm going to do. Because, uh, because I'm going to grab just about any old resistor here. Okay, so that's a 220, two that's a 20K resistor, I think. That should be just about perfect to drain this. Drain it out. If 
Yeah, it's going to rise back up a little bit, but it won't, it won't ever make it all the way back to... In fact... There. I'll just leave that there for a moment and we'll be down to nothing on the capacitors. Now, what are we going to do about that? I'm going to have to open this up and examine it and see if I boomed it up. Hmm. Well, instead of saying booped it up, I could have said something more like if I made a error in judgment or something like that. But uh, now I got to pull this thing back out of here. How did I do it last time? Isn't there one that was a little lifted already? It seems like it wanted to pop past the... Uh... Ah, wow. Ah, yeah, that, that's not what I want to have happen. Come on. There it goes. <laughs> okay, now. Yeah, you know what? That resistor didn't solder. I don't know if you can look in there. Look at Son of a gun. Didn't I check it when I did it? I bet you I didn't check it. I bet you I just did it and... Uh... Well, that probably explains it right there. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Slow down the cart here, because um, I think I'm thinking that that resistor Sure, it was supposed to be there. Yeah, because I think this. <laughs> I'm thinking which end of the resistor is the end that receives the high voltage. Wow, it shouldn't be this end, should it? The end that's sticking out of the end of this thing. I gotta apologize for the focus on this camera. So I, I'm just looking up and seeing that the thing's out of focus much of the time. Well, let's just solder that back in place properly and uh, check it this time. Again, I don't have my soldering iron ready, so let's let's let that warm up. Oh, in the meantime, uh, in the meantime, was there a meantime? Oh yeah, let's test the rectifier too. Test the rectifier too. Let's see, 25Z5. Just one second. Okay, so I've got uh, 25Z5 here got the uh, settings for the uh, tube tester 25Z5 so let's pull the tube out there we are and I'll set up the tube tester here Twenty five Z five. So it's a JR 
for the heater settings and 25 volts. JR25. Zero five zero four zero zero four zero. <laughs> Why not? Let's see, let me, let's see if I can keep this straight. Zero five zero four zero. Zero five zero four zero. Okay. And then it's zero and forty. Zero and forty on the English. And special instructions here. Press P3, not P4. And that's plate number one, as it's a two part two. Okay, this. Where are you? There you are. It's a six pin two. It's not immediately obvious which tubes are, which pins are the bigger ones. Oh! There's an arrow down there that that helps. Where are you? Then? Well, you can actually see that arrow on the camera, right in there. <laughs> yeah, some particularly fortuitous lighting there, I think. Okay, so I'm going like this. Oh, wait a minute. Turn down the voltage while we're just a wee bit doubtful here. Double check the settings. 25Z5. 05040. 05040. Okay, that's good. 0 and 40P3. You can see the tube glowing there quite nicely. It's interesting. Usually you get a flash on the short uh, tube when you do this. If you pass, I think, uh, just move charges in out of capacitors or something, but nothing happened there. So here we go. P3. Rectifier. Watching the meter. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Well. Very interesting. Uh, I think congratulations goes to Time Spider, who uh, who took a guess that the diode is simply bypassing a, a dead tube. Hmm. Let's let's try the other half of this tube now. It's kind of surprising. It's glowing so nicely. Oh right, right. And why would you leave the tube in there? Because you need it to complete uh, all the heater uh, series. So that's so you can have like a defective tube in there, but it can't be the heaters. If the heater blows, this radio won't work at all. So, uh huh, very clever. So inevitably, the tube, if the radio is working, the tube on the top is glowing and looks like it's working. Meanwhile, very sneakily, the diode, the little tiny diode, is doing all the work. Let's try the other half of the tube and see if the other half shows bad too. So that's a zero two zero three zero. Zero two zero three zero. All the other settings stay the same. For short. Same thing. Remember I noticed that this didn't flash. So and push P3, it's a dud. Ah, so, wow, well, there you go. So all this uh, clever notion I had and uh, um, about the uh, diode being a way to pass the inrush current to the fat capacitor it doesn't seem to be the case. Very good. Yeah, I'm really impressed. <laughs> okay. Let that cool down a bit before I move it.
So some hapless person like me could come along. Uh, come along and step in front of the camera. That's one thing I could do. I could come along and, you know, test, test the tube, find it bad, go get a new one. Oh, who's here? Peanut. What's, what's happening? Yeah, I think he wants to go outside. It's kind of dusky. You know, cats love to go out when, at dusk. So it's just becoming dusky. Actually, it's pretty darn dark outside. What am I talking about? What is it, Peanut? Yeah? Come on over here. Come on over here. Yeah. Come on over here. You better. I'm going to have to say hi to everybody now. Okay, just look into the camera and smile. The camera. Do you see the camera? <laughs> Ugh. Go get Draper. He's better on camera. Oh, I shouldn't have said that to the poor cat. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, try and stay a little focused on the radio here for a minute. Okay, well... I was going to say some poor guy could go out and get a new tube, stick it in there, not realizing there's a diode underneath there. Maybe the radio's not working for some other reason. And this is what he discovers, though. And uh, what would happen then? It's a good question. Um, so no doubt the uh, the diode is a is a radio repair guy's trick, probably well known by professional radio repair people. I would guess. Hey, isn't that what 